The daily maintenance routine is your chance to make sure that all of the basic concepts required to play the trumpet well are being accomplished. These concepts include sound, breathing, articulation, flexibility, agility, range, and endurance. Completing your daily routine every day is not a substitute for practicing, nor is it meant to take the place of a good warm-up and warm-down. The daily routine's main priority is to learn how to be a more efficient trumpet player. Practicing and listening to great music and musicians is the way to expand your musicianship and broaden your abilities. With this in mind, make sure that you are creating a balance between your daily routine, daily practicing, and daily listening. So, what exercises should you include in your daily routine? Well, a healthy diet of flow studies, slurs, tonguing, range, and endurance exercises are great places to start. Since the majority of these topics are covered in their own sections on this DVD, this chapter is more about creating an outline for you to follow. If you would like a more in-depth look in any of these individual areas, please select that chapter on the DVD. Have several different types of exercises that will achieve the same goal to keep your routine interesting and full of variety. Also, continue to raise your expectation level as you find it easier to play your routine. This can be done by increasing the tempo, expanding the range, and more narrowly focusing your listening. Since your playing demands can change from day to day, having a variety of routines can be very helpful. We spend a third of the year traveling across the country performing concerts, and it can be difficult to practice. We have all learned to create routines that fit our ever-changing needs. That brings up a great point. Perhaps one of the most fundamental jobs of the daily routine is to bring balance to your trumpet playing. If you have a week of rehearsals and concerts that are very demanding, your routine should concentrate on lighter material. The opposite is true as well. If your playing week is relatively easy, that's the time to push yourself. Begin your routine with basic flow studies, such as the VCs or the stamp exercises we discussed in the warm up and warm down. After you feel and sound warmed up, play some extended flow studies. Take etudes that you like to play and turn them into flow studies by slurring everything. These studies should either be longer or have extended range. The same concepts apply to these as the simpler studies. Let the air be full and rich as you move through the phrases and concentrate on creating the greatest sound you can on the trumpet. When slurring, use the routine to either focus on basic or simple slurs or to work on more advanced ones. Start with some basic slurs to make sure everything sounds good before moving on. If you're having trouble, then stick to the basics. If you're sounding good and doing well, then it's time to push yourself. Simple slurs are easy to create on the spot. You can create more advanced ones by increasing the speed and range or by changing the dynamics. If you would like to use a book, we suggest Arben's Complete Method for the Trumpet. Iron's 27 Groups of Exercises, or Schlossberg's Daily Drills and Technical Studies for the Trumpet. Practice your slurs using extremes. Take any slurring exercise and begin by playing it loud and very slow. Listen for a full sound as you connect the notes. Don't back away. Immediately following, do the same exercise soft and very fast. This will ensure that you are relying on efficiency of playing and not just muscle and force to play the slurs. Otherwise, the second slur will not happen or be very difficult to play. The term articulation refers to the musical means by which we initiate the sounds we make. This is important because every note is not necessarily meant to be presented in the same way. Some require finesse, while others are meant to shock you through power. We accomplish good articulation through the use of good tonguing. The ability to tongue well comes from the combination of airflow, the tongue, and using firm fingers. Use scales, method books, and etudes to practice your single tonguing, and experiment using different degrees of intensity as you practice. 
Some days work on your legato soft entrances, and other days spend time on very firm accents. Your goal should be to have such an assortment of articulations readily available that you are always prepared for any musical situation. It's also necessary to spend some time on your multiple tonguing. As with single tonguing, project your air through the tonguing as you use firm fingers. Always begin slow and then get faster as you progress. Never sacrifice a good sound for speed. After tonguing, we suggest that you work on your range. Remember that the goal is for the upper register to sound no different than the lower registers. This can be accomplished by playing exercises both loud and soft throughout your usable range. Always rely upon good airflow and a focused embouchure from the lowest pedal tones to the top of your range, not pressure. And above all else, know your limits. We advise alternating between days of going to the point where the sound begins to suffer and days where you take it a few steps beyond. The only way to build your range is to get up there and go for it, but don't push yourself too hard every day. Next, choose a few technical or lyrical etudes to play. This is a very important step because it reminds you that we work on all these different mechanical facets so that we can perform music easier. Alternate between days of choosing etudes you enjoy playing and others that are less familiar. Remember that this isn't necessarily the time to practice the etudes, just have fun and play. This is where having an assortment of method and etude books comes in handy. Look at our website for a list of what we suggest you own. Finally, make sure to end your daily routine with a warm down. You can choose any of the materials from the warm down chapter of this DVD. Here are some final thoughts to consider when creating your daily routine. First, have an idea as to how much time you're going to spend. If you have a very demanding performance that night, adjust your routine accordingly. Second, know your limits. It's better to aim for slight progress every day than huge leaps. Third, take plenty of breaks. A couple of minutes here and there go a long way. And finally, remember that you are your best teacher. More than anyone else, you know what areas in your playing need attention, so don't dwell on what you already do well. Hit the areas that need help. Over the long haul, that will benefit you more.